Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. People, it is finally here. The Thriller 40 documentary is now available on Paramount Plus, and boy, do I have a lot to say about this documentary. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is, my name is The Horseman, and, and this is my review of the Thriller 40 documentary. Um, I will do my I will do my best not to spoil anything. So if you hear something something that sounds like a spoiler, I apologize in advance. Um, be sure to to subscribe to the channel or channel and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Um, if you haven't seen this documentary, I highly recommend it. It it is one of the best documentaries I've seen, and my and my and actually my is actually my first time watching a. Michael Jackson album album documentary and before you say and before you say anything in the comments no I have not seen Journey from Motown to Off the Wall or Bad 25 yet I am still trying to figure out where where to watch it um I really enjoyed I really enjoyed that document uh, I really enjoyed Thriller 40 it was well put together the interviews were solid um uh, we we received interviews of of many many celebrities and singers such as Usher Mary J. Blige, Will I Am, Mark Ronson, Maxwell, and the uh, thriller and the thriller video director John Landis as they recount their best memories of the best-selling album of all time. Um, the documentary also treated us with never-before-heard vo vocals and ad-libs from Billie Jean, "Beat It," and "The Girl's Mine." We got to see high-quality footage of Michael in the recording studio with Paul McCartney, uh, a few rare interviews, and. And let me tell you, the high quality clips of his performance of his performances during the victory tour were out of this world. Um, I, I also like that they discussed many aspects of Michael's career during the early 80s, such as the 1984 Grammys, the ET audiobook, uh, the infamous Pepsi commercial, along with along with other segments. Um, however, my main criticism lies in the breakdown of each track and its backstory. It seems that they left out many, uh, many, uh, many parts of of the album, such as uh, such as PYT and and Lady in My Life. Um, they talked a bit about ba Baby Be Mine, but mainly focused more focus on the more popular songs, such as Wanna Be Sorry Something, The Girl's Mine, Beat It, Human Nature, Billie Jean, and Thriller. Um, they did leave out a few pieces of information, such as the Vincent Price rap in in Thriller and Rod Temperton's contribution to Michael's work. Um, there were moments where the, where the documentary felt a bit rushed, with points made abruptly transitioning to the next topic. Um, for example, they, for example, one, uh, one moment they would talk about the Pepsi burn, uh, the Pepsi burn, and, and, the, and the next thing, and next thing you know, they were talk, they were talking about the victory tour. It was, it was just, it was just. <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, most of uh, there's there were a few parts in the documentary that felt uh, all, felt all, all over the place, but and it and also not to mention it not to mention it it appeared to lean more towards celebration than an in depth analysis of the album, presenting already familiar informa information. I mean, there were if there were a few informa there were a few bit bits pieces of information that I did I know about the album, but. Um, but a vast majority, but a, va a vast majority of them were already presented to the public. Um, despite my critiques, um, the documentary does capture the celebratory essence of Michael Jackson's impact, affirming the continued greatness of Thriller as one of the best album albums ever. I I still I, I still enjoyed it regardless, and I would consider watching watching it again for those seeking more. Rare footage. The Thriller 40 documentary excels in providing such content. Um, I would give this documentary the first official horse rating of, on this channel, a a nine out of ten. I would give this a documentary a nine out of ten. Again, I enjoyed the rare, rare interviews and footage and the breakdown of of some of the songs. However, I really wish they would have talked more about PYT and Lady in My Life. Um, I do believe the documentary. Uh, had had the potential to be even better, especially in terms of informative in of informative content. But 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 I enjoyed it regardless. Um, 
if you want to watch the, docu the documentary, it is now available on Paramount Plus and Showtime. But if you want to, but if you have neither of those uh, streaming services, you can view view the documentary uh, fully at VK Video. The link will be in the, the link will be in the description below and and along with the pinned comment. Um, with that being said, I hope you enjoy my my review. I I truly apologize for the stuttering. Um, be be sure to leave a like and let me know what you think about a documentary. If you love if you, if you already watched it, do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me go. Let me know in the comments section below. Um, if you have any recommendations for more video topics, I will gladly take them and give you a shout out in my next video. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one.